If you want a chance of winning 2,400 COD points as part of my 5,000 subscriber giveaway, all you have to do is leave a like on this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a comment on this video that includes your Instagram or Twitter username and the platform that you play on. The winner will be chosen in a future video in the coming weeks. Enjoy the video. What's going on boys, it's Clements back on the mic, back with another banger of a video and in today's video I'm going to be guiding you absolute legends through on how to rank up your battle pass in the shortest amount of time possible. Now without wasting time and jumping balls deep in there boys, as most of us already know, the ranking up of the battle pass relies on two main things. So there's two aspects of ranking up the battle pass we need to focus on, one of which is time spent in-game playing, uh, as we simply just play the game, we're essentially earning battle pass XP, pretty simple, and the second being the overall amount of XP we earn in every game we play. Unfortunately, battle pass XP is based the most on just how much you play the game, which is kind of poo, because that means it's all about the grind rather than rewarding good players for performing well in-game. So based on this information and what all of this actually means is the fastest way of ranking up the battle pass would to be playing the game as much as possible, pretty simple, which at the same time ranking up a shed load of XP as we do that. So your best bet boys is to play Warzone Plunder, at least in my opinion. Plunder matches often last between 20 to 30 minutes, which is quite a while, and that's 20 to 30 minutes we can spend playing the game and overall earning battle pass XP. And plunder is also fantastic for gaining masses amount of XP, whether that's by supply runs, big game bounties, or just looting and collecting cash. Plunder does reward a lot for just purely looting, since it is a looting based game mode. Whoever earns or finds the most cash wins, so definitely in my opinion by far the best mode to be playing if you're serious about purely just playing to level up the battle pass as fast as possible. Also boys, just a quick tip, is that activating double XP tokens does not affect battle pass XP earned whatsoever, unless it's specifically a double battle pass XP token. Which are quite rare, you sometimes get them in bundles that you actually pay for, but you don't really come across them that often, which kind of sucks. However, I still do recommend using double XP tokens, just because after every 50 career levels, if you didn't know, you actually earn a single tier skip token, which might not sound like a lot, but every little does help, especially with how long it does take to level up each tier in the battle pass. It really is a grind guys, it really is quite a struggle, so I hope this did help, if it did smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. I've been Clements, you've been absolutely amazing, I'll see you guys in the next one, peace out and take care.